Managing Devices. Once you've gone through the discovery process, you have the ability to do several things. One is create back up custom groups. Once you've gone through and done discovery in your environment, one of the very nice capabilities that exists in this tool is you want to organize your devices based on either roles within your organization or platforms. There's a variety of different ways to do it. We can create customized groups and the way we do this is through a query editor. So what we've done here is allowed you to categorize things off of different types of uh, query criteria like model numbers or uh, version uh, IP addresses, versions of operating systems, host names. So you can get creative in how you want to organize particular devices in your overall environment. In this instance, I've gone through and I want to find all of my 1855 blade servers. And so device model contains 1855, run that query, there they are. The, once you save that query, great tool there. The best part about this tool is that as you add devices that meet that criteria, they will auto-populate into there. So one of the, the first things you'll want to do after discovery is go through and create these customized groups because we leverage these not only in creating groups but also in generating reports, doing hardware patching, uh, using tasks, uh, installing agents down to servers. So you'll see this capability throughout the tool and once you organize it either by platform or roles within your organization, it becomes very easy to manage devices. Managing devices. Let's now go and look at a server in some detail. When I click here on the 2950, Okay, back up again. Context launching. As you can see here on this 2950, we already looked at the device details, but by right clicking on this device, there's a variety of different things that you can accomplish. Remember before we talked about favorite applications, so console is a favorite application. Um, but also, based on the type of device that it is, it will populate other things like this server has a remote access controller, so it's going to give you a telnet session and a console session to that particular server. It also has a server administrator, so it has a launch point to, to launch into the server administrator. And you can also do an RDP connection or manage the IPMI interface through the SOL proxy, which is serial over LAN proxy. One of the challenges that customers have seen over time is if I click here on this 2950, over here on the right hand side you can see that it doesn't have server administrator as an agent on the device. And what we've done is added the troubleshooting tool which gives us the ability to test a variety of different things including connectivity to the WMI through SIM, connecting to the Dell EMC arrays, uh, logging into IPMI, doing name resolution. The three things that are necessary in order for a server to be managed is A, it needs to, you need to be able to ping it. Secondly, you need to have the agent installed and our agent talks on port 1311. And lastly, you need to have SNMP configured correctly. So in here, I can go and highlight these three things and run this test against this device. And you can see it's definitely getting a ping. Uh, there is no port connectivity so that means that it, there is no agent installed and if I click here it would take me to a help file that would say the, you don't have an agent installed uh, and let's go down and check for SNMP so SNMP has been configured correctly so that it can see this IT assistant console so what we need to do in this particular box is install server administrator and we'll do that when we go to the session of uh, installing server administrator remotely